Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and fans of Stratomatic Baseball. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with another Max for you, another Max game. And today what we're going to do is we're going to set up, we're going to attempt to set up a league. Um, and we are going to do 1974. And I will take the Chicago White Sox. Many reasons for these these uh, choices. The uh, 74 season happens to be the only season I do not have the cards for. And I also don't have the computer game, uh, the computer rosters for 1974. And I'm taking the White Sox. So the White Sox were a wishy-washy team. They finished the season 80 and 80. I guess they didn't play the last two games because they probably felt like, uh, you know, the last the two games that they missed were probably against teams that aren't going to make the playoffs and the White Sox weren't going to make the playoffs, so there was no need to play those two games. So what we will do, um, I have never done this before. This is the first time I'm even attempting to do this. So um, I will be learning it on the fly here as we go through it. I don't know how much setup is really involved with it or any of that, so um, we will um, be learning it together on the fly. Um, uh, first, I suppose you have to go to Historical League. Let's create a real, uh, create a league real quick, okay? Create new league. And we will go down to 1974. And there it is. There it is. Major League. Now, my team is going to be the Chicago White Sox, so let's make that choice. And uh, the league name will be Roberts 1974 Chicago. So I guess that's fine. We'll go with that. Uh, you know, Starting league. Generation may take one to two minutes. That's not too bad. Loading rosters. And... So you can see, I guess this is the schedule for the opening day. Um, we don't play until April 5th, but there is a game here you can see on April 4th. So it's nice to see that you've got the, you can look at the standings, you can look at the schedule, the scores, statistics, you can do all of that. Um, I am, uh, I, come to understand that once the season is over you don't have the stats anymore maybe it gets rid of completely gets rid of the season um, but anyway uh, we will uh, we're going to advance to the next game I guess that's what you would do because um, I'm not Cincinnati or Atlanta there are three intermediate games before the next game of your team. So let's go. And here it is. It's playing the games. Uh, and I guess it's just those are the scores that like it's like kind of zooming through possible scores and then it settles on one. So this is kind of cool. I mean, the setup doesn't seem as bad as like if you were to do a game on the computer. So let's go look at the standings because we do have some games. So you can see it does have uh, Boston at 1-0, and Oakland at 1-0, and and there you go. And so, yeah. All right. So um, let me... Let's go back to the sky. I guess we would go to the schedule. Oh, you, yeah, here's our schedule. And we are playing California on the 5th. So I guess I can just click on the 5th. No, I can't. Nope. Cannot do that. So we're go, we'll go next. Wait a minute. Um, all right. Well, I'm out of the. I'm apparently out of the season. So let's see. If I can go to, like, get back. Yeah, here we go. Um, Roberts, 1974. So you just click on it. Um, uh, 
but I'm, you know, I'm trying to click on the day and play the game, so let's see. Here's our roster, schedule, summary, maybe, I, okay, here we go. So we're going to go to manual play. I am going to be Chicago. So I guess you got to go to summary when you want to play the game. And uh, here are the uh, matchups, and we're going up against Nolan Ryan, one of my best all-time pitchers, and my favorite, one of my favorite all-time pitchers, and Wilbur, he's going up against Wilbur Wood. So let's take a look at Ryan's card, uh, shall we? I guess we shall. And, of course, this was, you know, earlier in his career, he had a walk problem. He walked a lot of people. So against, especially against righties, it looks like, you can get on a pretty good amount of the time. He is a 92, though. So, and if that rating is out of 100, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at Wilbur Wood and see what he his card looks like. Yeah, Wilbur Wood, uh, not a bad card, I guess. Uh, you know, he's an 85, though. So, all right, we will. Um, it looks like our line. I'm going to go with the uh, lineup that they're giving me, which is Pat Kelly leading off and playing um, right field. Ken Henderson will bat second and play center. Dick Allen bats third and plays first base. Belton Bill Melton will bat in the cleanup spot and play third base. Carlos May will be the left fielder and bat in the fifth spot. Batting in the sixth spot is Ron Santo, the DH. George Orta will bat seventh and be the second baseman. Ed Herman is the catcher batting eighth. And Bucky Dent, our good friend Bucky Dent, will be the shortstop batting ninth. For California, they're going to have Mickey Rivers leading off, playing center field. Denny Doyle will bat second and be the second baseman. Bobby Valentine bats third, and he's the left fielder. Frank Robinson in the cleanup spot at DH. Mike Epstein will play first base and bat fifth. Bob Oliver will play third base and, be, and bat sixth. Batting seventh is Lee Stanton, and he'll be in the right field position. Eighth, you've got Ellie, uh, I think it's Ellie Rodriguez, the catcher. And batting ninth will be Dave Chalk, the shortstop. So let's get on with the game with all of that having been said. The umpire says, play ball. So, um, California is up. My defense is set. And we are rolling the bones. Rolling the bones. And that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. And that is a ground out. Belton Bill Melton makes the play. The next batter is Denny Doyle. And that's going to be a single one to seven. Let's see if they can get it. Oh, they did. They got it. They barely got it. So you've got a man on board with one down. And uh, you've got um, Bobby Valentine up. Bobby Valentine, this must have been when he was good, which, let's face it, wasn't very often in his career. That's a fly out to right, so there's two down. And... The defense is set, and I guess they're trying to bunt. No, they're not. 3-6, that, that's a walk. But I don't know why they didn't show the card. So now Mike Epstein is up. A lot of walks and a couple of home runs. There are two runners on with two down here. And that is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, and Wilbur Wood will make the play, and we're out of the inning. So we've got Pat Kelly coming up first. Cannot read the card properly. So I don't know. Well, first of all, it's not supposed to be Mike Epstein. It's supposed to be Pat Kelly. But it is a line out. So I don't know why we're having a problem displaying cards here. Now here's Ken Henderson. We we do see his card. So I, that's kind of a weird thing. I might have to make Strat aware of that. 
Got a possibility of a triple here, but it's probably going to be a single, and it is. So Ken Henderson is aboard with one down. And Dick Allen. Dick Allen was a big power hitter. Uh, questionable that he should belong in the Hall of Fame, and he strikes out against Noli, which is not surprising. And now Belton, Bill Melton, will come up, and uh, we've got a man aboard with two outs. And we're not going to get anything in that column. It's a line out to shortstop. So we're out of the inning, and it's tied 0-0 here in Game 1 of 1974 between the White Sox and the Angels. And, uh, again, whoever it is batting, it's not Bill Melton, um, but whoever it is batting, they can't even display his card. I don't understand this. So this is kind of a, this is a, a problem. Leroy Stanton is up with a man at second on a two-base error. And that's going to be a possible home run. And it is a home run. So the Angels are going to take a 2 nothing lead here. Not good. Ellie Rodriguez is up. There are no outs here in the top of the second with California leading us 2 nothing, And that's going to be a pop-out to third base. There is one down, and Dave Chalk is the batter. And he's going to be hit by pitch. So, I mean, Wilbur Wood is just uh, stinking the joint up here. Which brings up Mickey Rivers. Mickey Rivers with a man aboard, one down. He's attempting to steal. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to throw for the runner, even though it's not a great chance of getting him. Got to take the shot. Nope, he steals it. Oh, God. I don't know how it could be much worse here. So, Mickey Rivers steals second. So, he's up at second with only one out. And, uh, or no, Mickey Rivers is up. He's up at the plate. All right, I don't know who stole. But he grounds out. So, um, there's two down, man at second, and Denny Doyle up. And Denny Doyle's going to ground out. So Wood gets out of the inning, but the Angels score two runs and take a 2 nothing lead, and we have Carlos May up at the plate. Got a nice on-base chance here, especially against Nolan Ryan, and he walks. So he is aboard, and that brings up Ron Santo. I don't remember Ron Santo being in our lineup. All right, well, um, he apparently is, so we will swing away. And that's going to be a ground ball, third base, into a double play. I do not remember saying Ron Santo's name. So anyway, um, George Orta is up. And that's going to be a possible triple. We really need that. And we don't get it. So we're out of the second inning. We're going to the top of the third, down 2 nothing, And Bobby Valentine is the batter. It'll be interesting to see if some of these cards we didn't see the first time, we do see the second time through. Maybe it was just a temporary glitch when the guy came up. That's a pop-out. And no, they cannot display the card for, I believe, Frank Robinson. Yeah. So, for whatever reason, Frank Robinson's card can't be displayed, at least not in this game. Um, and again, it's something I might look for in other games to see if his card can be displayed in other games. Mike Epstein, Mr. Walk. We got one down, and no, two down, and nobody on. And he strikes out. So, Wilbur Wood gets out of that inning uh, pretty easily. We go to the bottom of the third, losing 2 nothing, And Ed Herman, the catcher is up, and he's going to single. He gets a base hit off Noli. We've got a man aboard, and Bucky Dent is the batter. Again, against almost anybody against Ryan, because he allows all those walks. 
Ah, double play. The double play, it's a killer. It's an inning killer. All right, so uh, we have, again, Pat Kelly up, and for whatever reason, it can't show Pat Kelly's card. 6-5. Uh, that will be a fly out, hopefully, and it is. Or no, not hopefully. <laughs> I didn't want it in that, in that case. So we're out of the inning, Kelly and... Um, uh, And Bob Oliver is at bat. Um, it's displaying, of course, the last batter for us, Bucky Dent, because they can't show his card for whatever reason. But that's going to be a pop-out to third. So in the top of the fourth, there is one out for California, and they bring up Leroy Stanton. And Leroy Stanton is going to fly out to center, so there is two down. And that brings up Ellie Rodriguez. Again, another guy that walks a lot, gets on quite a bit. And that's going to be a single. He rips a single. So he's aboard with two down here in the fourth with us losing 2 nothing. The Pale Hose losing 2 nothing to the Angels. Pickoff attempt. Runner is out. Nice. We picked him off. Uh, that's pretty sweet. All right, I'll take it. So Ken Henderson will be up for us here in the bottom of the fourth in a game where we are losing 2 nothing. Can't get anything really substantial going against Ryan. Every time we get a guy on, there's a double play. It follows. Um, it's followed by a double play. Dick Allen is up. We'd like to see him hit one out of here. Hit it out of here or just take a walk, you know. So Dick Allen is aboard. Bill Melton is up. He can hit a home run. Though, you know, two of them are at like two and three, so that's not really great. And he walks. So there's two guys aboard. Nolan Ryan with those uh, control problems coming through here. Got two guys on, one man out, and Carlos May is the batter. That's a nice column, and let's see if we can hit the triple somehow. Just somehow hit the triple. We don't. It's a single. But it is a single double asterisk, and so it does score a run. And Ron Santo, the guy who I did not see in our opening uh, lineup, is up. And he gets a single. Nice. That wasn't even a good card. He got the single and ties the game, um, I think. Man on first could try for third, 60% chance. I'm just going to hold the runners. But we do tie the game. And George Orta is up. Runners at first and second, only one away. Nolan Ryan, we're, we're getting to Ryan here. And that's going to be a fly out to right field. So there's two down. And Ed Herman, the catcher, is the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout, which Dolan Ryan will have a lot of as well. So California's coming up. Now we're in a tie game with them. And Dave Chalk is the batter against Wilbur Wood. You can see Wilbur Wood has an eight inning, inning of weakness, so that's not too bad at all. He uh, chalk grounds out to the shortstop, so there's one down, and Mickey Rivers is up. Now, Mickey Rivers has a good on-base card. We've got to ho hope that he, well, that's the one column he's not that great at, and he strikes out. So, with two down, we have Denny Doyle up. Denny Doyle, of course, formerly of the Red Sox, and uh, he strikes out. This was likely near the end of his career. So we got Bucky Dent. Our shortstop is batting against Nolan Ryan. And Nolan Ryan, you can see, has an inning of weakness of nine. Must be nice. I would love if pitchers could be like that today. So there's a strikeout, one down. And uh, we have uh, Pat Kelly up, the guy whose card cannot be displayed for whatever reason. Uh, five eight again. Hopefully, this is just something that's a glitch for this game, and in uh, you know subsequent games we will be able to see his card. Uh, still, it's something. It's a glitch that Strat should really work on. Um, Ken Henderson is up with two down in the bottom of the fifth, and he walks. 
Nolan Ryan walks him. And that brings up Dickie Allen. Got those nice home runs right there. Prominently displayed. But he's going to have to hope for the single one to four. And he doesn't get it. It's a line out. And we're out of the inning. And we go to the top of the sixth in a 2-2 game. With Bobby Valentine up against Wilbur Wood. And that's going to be a fly out to center. So there is one down. And uh, the guy who can't be displayed, another guy who can't be displayed is Frank Robinson. And he's going to ground out to shortstop. Bucky Dent making the play, the sure-handed Bucky Dent. And that brings Mike Epstein up, Mr. Walk Machine. But he's going to fly out to center where Ken Henderson's going to take care of it. And we are back up here in the bottom of the sixth. So, Belt and Bill Melton. You've got to figure maybe the next team that scores is going to be the one that wins this game. That's a strikeout. And you got to figure that um, both Ryan and Wilbur Wood might be able to go the distance. Go the distance. Carlos May is up and he's going to be out. He strikes out. And... That will bring to the plate Ron Santo, who got a key RBI single the last time he was up. And he gets another hit. Ron Santo, not with a very good card, playing for the other Chicago team, because you'll remember he's most famous for being uh, on the Cubs. And George Orta is the batter. He's got a good on-base card. But not there, but it still hits the walk. Sweet. All right, we got two guys on. Ed Herman is up. Two men on with two outs. Not a really great card for Ed Herman, though. And it manifests itself in a ground ball second base. And so we're out of the inning, and we're going to the top of the seventh. Top of the seventh and a tie game at two. And Bob Oliver with the card that cannot be displayed. It is not Ed Herman. It is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, though, and Wilbur Wood makes his second play of the game, throwing it over to the first baseman for an out. And Leroy Stanton is up. Leroy Stanton is going to strike out. Wilbur Wood, he's just staying. He's staying right with Ryan, step for step here. And Ellie Rodriguez is the batter, and uh, that's going to be a ground to the shortstop. And, of course, we have the sure-handed Bucky Dent over there. And look who's up, Bucky Dent. So we're in the bottom of the seventh. You know, again, looks like first team to score is going to win this game. The next team to score is going to win this game. That is a third base X, but it's an error. Their third baseman makes an error, and, of course, now Pat Kelly is up. It would be real nice to know whether I should be bunting with Pat Kelly or not, but I don't know that. And It turns out he walks, though, because it's on Ryan's card, and Ryan had a lot of walks. So Ken Henderson's up with two runners on and nobody out. And I'm going to let him hit again with Ryan. You've got a lot of on-base chances, and it manifests itself in a walk to load the bases. Ryan is in trouble. Let's see if they go to the bullpen. They are not going to the bullpen, and Dick Allen is going to be the batter. And that is the worst column I could possibly have gotten, except for the four column, and he strikes out. So there's one down, bases loaded, Belt and Bill Melton would be great if he could hit one out right here. And he doesn't, but he does get a single, knocks in at least one run, 95% um, chance I am going to send the lead runner, indeed. And throw coming home. Send the, the trailing runner. I'm, you know, I'm, yes, I'm going to send the trailing runner. It's 65% for that. Trail run, try to advance. Throw not cut off. So they're going for the lead runner at 95%. And it does, it does work, and so we have a nice lead now of like 4-2. to 4-2 to two with Carlos May up at the plate. Noli still out there. They're sticking with Noli. And that's going to be a strikeout. And why not? I mean, you know, 
it's feast or famine, he could strike somebody out and get out of that uh, inning and not let the guy from third score. So there is two down. We're ahead by two. And Ron Santo, the batter, he has hits in his last two at-bats. I think he's like two for three. Let's see if he can get this key double. That would be great. Ron Santo would be like the MVP of game one. But it isn't. It's a fly out. I am definitely going to keep um, California's coming up here in the eighth, down 4-2. to two. We're winning 4-2, and uh, I'm going to keep Wilbur Wood out there. Um, and they are going to pinch hit. Tommy McCraw is going to be the pinch hitter. He does have a pretty good card against him. That's going to be a fly to left, and it's going to be a single. So not liking that start. Uh, Mickey Rivers is the batter. I don't really even know much about, oh boy, and a walk. So, I don't know. I'm still going to stick with Wilbur Wood because I don't really know much about the White Sox bullpen in 1974. And you got to think you don't have anybody better than Wilbur Wood. So, that's going to be a ground ball to first base. So, there is one down, but now runners are at the corners, which isn't quite as bad. We can allow a run to score and still be leading. That's going to be a fly ball center field B, which will be a sacrifice fly and score. The third run for the Angels and Frank Robinson is up. The guy, we can't see his card. Runner edges away from the base. Runner unable to get a good lead. And so they're just going to let um, Frank Robinson bat, which they really should anyway. And that is a pop out to third base. So the defensive switch, Tommy McCraw um, will go in at left field. He was the pinch hitter. George Orta is the batter. Nolan Ryan is still out there. We have a 4-3 lead here. I really should try to do some research on White Sox bullpen on the fly here. But George Orta walks. If we can open up you know, a couple more run lead, or even one, I would be more comfortable sending... Um, Sending uh, Wood back out there. Ed Herman is the batter. Not going to bunt with Ed Herman, only because I'm sure he's not a great bunter. Fly ball to center field. So there is one down. And Bucky Dent is the batter. And that's going to be a possible single, but more likely a line out. And it is. There's two down with a man aboard. And... Uh, Pat Kelly is up. It won't display his card, so we don't really know what his chances are on his own card. And on that column, his chances are Zippola. So the Angels are coming up with Mr. Walk leading off, which is not a good thing. But he could tie the game. He could tie the game here. And he does! Holy shit, he does! the game. <laughs> All right. Well, Calif wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can rob it. We can possibly rob it. No, we didn't. So I didn't think we would. All right. So they do uh, tie the game. California does, unfortunately. Uh, so I am going to be forced to find out what the White Sox bullpen is like. That's a ground ball to second. Uh, well, I might. I say I say I will, but I might. We could get a run in the ninth inning and win the game. Or uh, Wilbur Wood could just get just dragged all over the field here, and I would have to be forced to take him out anyway. Leroy Stanton gets a single, and uh, that brings up Ellie Rodriguez. He's attempting to steal. Yeah, well, we're going to throw for him. I mean, we got nothing to lose. And let's see if that comes through for him. No, it doesn't. He's out. We gunned him. Runner is out. So we've been helped by a uh, caught stealing and a uh, and a pickoff. And so now Ellie Rodriguez is up with nobody aboard. And that'll be a hit by pitch. So he is aboard, and Tommy McCraw is the batter. 
And there's going to be a pinch runner for Rodriguez. And now McCraw will bat. Runner unable to get a good lead. So we will pitch to McCraw. Hopefully he doesn't get that one column. Or really even that because that's a walk. So now there's two men on. We need Wood to get, really need Wood to get out of this inning. That's going to be a ground ball to second, and that is an out. So Chicago is up. There is a substitution. Tom Egan enters the game for California, catching and batting eighth. And we have Ken Henderson going up against Nolan Ryan. And Nolan Ryan is pitching here into the ninth, which is not surprising. It is Nolan Ryan. That is a ground ball to second base. Uh, Dick Allen is the batter. Probably going to go to the bullpen in the ninth and find out, or in the tenth and find out what we've got out there. Dick Allen is out, and that brings up Belton Bill Melton. He could hit it out, and we could all be going home. But he gets a single one to four chance, which isn't even really very good. But it is. It does come through. He gets a single, so we have a possibility here. And Carlos May is the batter. Would love a 2-2. Can I just have a 2-2? Or anything? Well, that double 1-2, to two, that's not that great. But we'll see if we can get it. We can't. It's a fly out. And we are in a 4-4 game going to the top of the 10th inning. Denny Doyle will be the batter. And I am going to take a look at substituting for Mr... Wilbur Wood. And uh, let's see. I don't know what this means. The red one and four next to Bonson and Forster. Um, I'm, wait, let's see. Now Cod is probably a starter. Um, let's see. Yeah, Bonson would be a starter anyway. Um, I'm going to bring in Acosta. And then we're going to say, okay. So Cy Acosta comes in. Not very good, at least not against left-handed uh, batting. Let's hope for the batter's card here. We get it. Maybe it's not going to be a single. Well, let's hope. Single one to seven chance, and he is out. Nice. So Acosta gets the first out. And that brings up Bobby Valentine. Bobby Valentine looks like he's going to be out. He is out. Cy, Cy Acosta gets a bouncer back to him and throws it over to first for the out. And that brings, of course, Frank Robinson up. We don't know what Frank Robinson's card looks like, but we do know in the nine or in the six column, not much of a chance. So Cy Acosta gets out of that inning. Now we would really love to put this game away right here in the bottom of the tenth inning. Let's see if we can do it. One five. That is going to be a ground ball to third. So Santo is out. And George Orta is the batter. He got a nice on base here. Nolan Ryan is still out there. He flies out to center. Nolan Ryan is on pitch 185 of 159. So he is way over. Let's see if that could result possibly. Is that a single? No, it isn't. So for whatever reason, he's not tired yet. Probably because he hasn't allowed two consecutive base runners. Cy Acosta, I'm going to keep him out there. It's only the first game of the season. And they keep hitting in the... Uh, oh, that's going to be an error by the left fielder. My God, you cannot afford that. And uh, the batter is Bob Oliver. And that is going to be a fly to left. And runner will hold at second. That was a two-base error, too. So he's going to hold at second. There is one down with a man at second and Leroy Stanton, the batter. 
and that is going to be a fly to right and the runner will hold it second so there's two down Acosta is just sidestepping all kinds of uh, landmines here and Tom Egan who was a terrible hitter apparently pops out to first base so we get out of that inning now we're in the bottom of the 11th we would love a run we would just love a run here Nolan Ryan is still out there and 6-5 is going to be a possible triple I would really love the triple but we're gonna get the single so uh, let's see Bucky Dent um, let me see he is a stealing D so we're not gonna do anything with that um, we're just gonna let um, just gonna let Pat Kelly hit one six I wish I knew if that was a good roll or not base hit runner on first may try for third no we're just gonna hold the runners it's only a 55 percent chance so Ryan's in trouble now let's see if they go to the bullpen um, we've got runners at first and second with nobody out and Ken Henderson up and that's gonna be a 1-6 and I think that's gonna be the game folks it is I mean it is gonna be the game and it's a home run to boot Ken Henderson with a walk-off home run wins it for Chicago and uh, yeah Nolan Ryan we beat Nolan Ryan and he goes the distance and so let's get the box score just to show it to you box score is currently being generated please try again in some time all right uh, there we go we now we've got the box score there it is there are the batters and you can see wood went nine he allowed six hits and walked three and only allowed three earned runs Ryan went ten he allowed ten hits and walked eight 18 guys on in ten innings and uh, yeah so that is what you got and so that's how we are at um, at this point we'll look at the standings again um, there we are 1-0 and so kind of interesting uh, we won our first game of 1974 interesting very interesting and uh, so what did you guys think does this look like uh, you might like it better than the um, computer game the PC game but that will be it for me sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off